I would like to thank you for the comments about the microphone and want to just explain a little bit <coughs> why the noise a while ago. Yeah, somebody made a comment that maybe the gain was set too high. And I was thinking, yeah, I, probably the wireless mic transmitter has a gain setting and probably it has its own internal gate expander. And probably maybe it was set too high, so it was leaving it was leaving the gate expander open all the time and all of the fan noise was coming. However, we could not adjust because the program was already going on. And we did not have enough uh, time to run uh, to practice with a speaker in a full house with all the fans because they are nursing students and so on and we also have our work to do in the office so we had to and there were people who were saying that there's they are hearing noise so these are the things that we had to uh, decide the audiovisual people <coughs> the speaker was uh, her voice was not so strong i mean not like preaching voice like uh, somebody who and then the microphone that we used was uh, not a directional microphone it was omnidirectional so it just picked up all the environmental <coughs> noise uh, equally so if it was directional maybe we could have picked up the voice more uh, focused <coughs> in a more focused way and one more thing so we with that and we the program is already going on we were left with some people said so to reduce the the noise the the sound of the fans all around, we tried to lessen the low frequencies. And the comments that we get after lowering the low frequencies, which reduced the hum, the, that sound. So we reduced that. And other comments said, parang uh, hindi buo yung sound. It looks like, it sounds like it's not full. Of course, we reduced the, the low frequency. If we put back the low frequency, we will the voice of the speaker will be more full but there will be added hearing load with all the noise from the fans going around oh there are so many fans here because it's hot so <clears throat> we had to lower the low that's why it doesn't sound like full range of course we boosted the high so that the s's can be heard and overemphasized because that makes it uh, sound clear and uh, we put a gate, uh, an expander gate, further on the house speaker so that it. I just set it so that it will cut when she's not speaking. But she, uh, the speaker this morning was, has this. Uh, she likes to whisper, and then she likes to uh, raise her voice also. So we had to high raise the gain so that the whispers will be heard. Like sometimes she mentions mom very softly and it doesn't go through if you set the gate too high <clears throat> so uh well if we put it flat maybe the online viewers and and the uh, people who are wearing headphones that the diaphragm are is a uh, is a uh, light <clears throat> they will hear so many things but the people in the house we had to hear the voice so it's between uh, are we going to make the people with earphones hap happy or are we going to make the people in the house with 2,500 people understand the, le the, the, the message? So the message is the most important thing to make the message understandable. Secondarily, to make it nice. The, I mean the audio nice. So we had to prioritize intelligibility over the the uh, no, uh, over other things which uh, yeah that's the those are the uh, those are the constraints we had this morning uh, ideally I, we were thinking that maybe we should have a separate mic for the live stream but it should be directional because this house has so many fans that uh, and uh, the further you put it then it will the ratio of the noise and the voice will be also difficult so that's the explanation thank you for comments <clears throat> if you think uh, if you have more ideas 
like recording uh, the ideas that we haven't tried here, which would be very interesting to try is uh, this, uh, and uh, what is that? The 32-bit float audio for recording so that we can fix it in post. If you have idea or you want to lend or even lend uh, for experiment equipment that can do 32-bit <coughs> float recording so that we don't have to set gain. We don't have to set gain. We just put, it can record until 200 decibels. Then we would like to try that. <laughs> if you also have uh, a mic that uh, you want to experiment here, like electronics, expensive mics, $2,000, just the transmitter, which transmits and also records. <coughs> I'm not sure if it's also 32-bit float audio, which doesn't clip, doesn't clip. The 32-bit float audio doesn't clip, and we are dreaming about it. Just to record, yeah? Just to uh, and experiment. Not, uh, I'm not sure it's... Uh, sometimes there is interference. Uh, we cannot control radio spectrum because all of these wireless mics are using the, the, ma the spectrum that is not controlled or managed or owned by anyone. So anybody can transmit on any of those uh, frequencies that are used by everybody. So those are the constraints and the opportunities, but we prioritize the intellig intelligibility. Thank you. Have a nice day. Happy audioing. And about the distance of the uh, uh, head worn, ear worn mic to the mouth, uh, we can only go about in my observation with other ministries. If uh, I, d I used to put it right as, ma as near as possible, but the problem is the, the air, the, the pop. So we had to put it about two centimeters away from the edge of the mouth. But when the speakers smile, uh, then we had to adjust and they have very small uh, faces. And uh, that was just the constraints. You can only put it so near, but when they smile and then when they breathe, we get the pops. So yeah, there's, we even had to put the rubber band because the mics, the small mics are even too big. So yeah, just another challenge to think about if you have ideas or experience, let us know. Thank you.